Yeah, and so on these recordings, I, I'm putting everything into a uh, Google Drive uh, where if you, the link I think is around, it's the same link, you should be get, you have access to all of the, uh, the end game technique lectures in one folder and then all the uh, uh, early game techniques um, in, in a separate floor, so, a folder. So they're all, all there and once you have the link, uh, uh, you should be able to get to any of those. Okay, so now we're going to end game uh, techniques and uh, from, by Mishi, and um, we've uh, gone over. Oops, same one. We have gone over uh, the what Mishi calls the closeout, uh, and, and that's where you've got uh, your opponent's checkers on the bar, and. Um, you, uh, you you closed them out, and so now the the just to very quickly to review the, the common thing here is uh, is safety. Uh, don't get hit, don't get hit, and you win. Um, now these the closeout happens to be fairly simple. Uh, yeah, for the most part, uh, not that there aren't a few problems here and there, but uh, and you're very likely to win. It's like ninety eight percent to win from here. Uh, there's a small gamma chance, but. Uh, it depends really on where your opponent's other checkers are scattered. If you if you put a bunch, you know, over here, uh, your gamma chances are much bigger, okay, sixty two percent in this case. Uh, but the main thing here is to is to get off safely, um, and uh, the, what Misha was advocating was learn the uh, structures that are safe are safe, uh, and so there are particular structure which he called odd odd it's fairly safe uh, you know i would say this even even is as safe as you can be and when we're talking about safely we're looking at you know the next roll uh so you know no matter what you roll here you're not going to leave a shot uh no matter what you roll here you're not going to leave a shot uh, now when you get down to here there are a couple rolls that leave shots uh you know six five being actually being the one roll so you need to worry about this. So yeah, this this odd odd is not quite as safe once you start peeling off. In fact, the more you peel off, you know, there are more shots you're leaving here. So you know it's six five and six four and five four. Uh, so your your chance to leave more shots are there. So really, the safest spot is was the even even. Uh, this is even even too. Again, any roll that you make, uh, you would not leave a shot from this from this position. So that's that's. Uh, the, the main idea um, uh, for the closeout. And then we did discuss uh, certain situations where you might play a little more aggressively. You know, maybe you can take a checker off instead of going even, even. Uh, and you might do that if you had, you know, two checkers on the bar. Uh, and, and in which case you've got much better gamma chances. Uh, or even with one checker and your opponent is, has a crunched board. Where okay, you can be a little bit aggressive. If you get hit, it's not the end of the world. You just, um, you know, you you'll you'll give up the gamut if you get hit, but you won't lose the game. So uh, that's pretty much it for for the closeout. Uh, the the ace point, and now we're going to the ace point game. And uh, the ace point game is a different sort of animal. Um, as you can see here, uh, you're 90% to win from the, a position like this, which is considerably less. It's versus 98 nearly. So it's like six or 7% less. Um, but your gammons are higher, 15% gammons. Gary, I think the cubes are on, on the other side. Um, OK. That's true. Uh, but then you can't, well, I guess you can get an invalid cube here. But the idea, the idea here was to, you know, see, look at what your winning chances were compared to the, uh, yeah. to the uh, uh, closeout position. Uh, now, there are uh, many of the rules are the same. In fact, all of these, the end game, uh, the different end games that we're looking at, uh, have some very similar uh, features. So one we talked about was clear from the rear. Uh, so yeah, we still want to do that here. As we did for the closeout, and in fact, I think virtually anywhere it's, it's any of the position. I think that they're almost always you know clear from the rear first. Um, uh, uh, 
We don't like gaps. Uh, a gap is something like this. Um, and sometimes it's unavoidable. Like if you, you know, get double fives, you know, from here or something like that, then, then you've got to clear the fives. You can't clear the fives from the six, so you've got a gap. So gaps are to be avoided if you can. Uh, other forms of gaps are like this. Um, oh, because you're going to get rolls like um, four or five, where you're going to uh, you're going to you're going to leave a shot. So avoid the the inner gaps, avoid these kind of gaps, and avoid the gaps where you this I guess call it the spare gaps. So those are the same. Now the the major difference here between the closeout is that is this type of structure that we're going to look for because we're not looking for you know even even so much anymore or odd odd we're going to be looking for what uh, michi calls the mountain structure uh, or uh, i've heard it called the pyramid structure so that's something like this um, now you're going to leave uh, uh, so and, and this is a combination of uh, you know trying to get trying to play safe and trying to get uh, also trying to get a gamut you have much better gamut chances with two here with two checkers back. Um, so in the, you know, this position, uh, look at, well, this, this position, I haven't, didn't look at this before. This is 88% win, 60% gammons. This is a little bit better, 50% gammons. Okay. Um, but there, well, okay, okay, because there are no losers here. If you look at this one, there are, there are losing rolls here. Um, uh, six, five uh, leaves a shot. Uh, and so that's, that's the kind of thing that you get from the ace point position is that you can get, you, know, you wanna clear this, you wanna clear one, a point at a time, but um, you know, there's always, whenever you're clearing a point, there's always a roll that's gonna leave a shot. Um, and it's, you know, it's the roll where you're the last checker back you can't move because it lands on the ace point. So, um, okay, so let's take a look at some examples and see what, what we want to do here. So what do you think the right move is here? Six, three, six, five. Okay, and, and, and why is that? Clearing from the back. Uh, yeah, well, that, yeah, that's true. We're, we're clearing a point. Um, so, uh, but we're not taking any checkers off. No. So there's always a trade-off when you bear off of, of you know, you want to take checkers off. Uh, that's the whole point. Uh, but you want to play safety as well. So it's yeah, safety versus checkers off. In this case, um, you're correct. It is 6-3. You're clearing the point. Uh, but you're also getting the more of the mountain structure, the pyramid structure. So you've got this, this point here. Um, uh, now, I don't, did I mention that? Mochi defined, Amici defined the, uh, the mountain structure as having spares on your 3, 4, and 5 point. So we've got that here. Uh, I think it's just as easy to look at visually as you want kind of a, a pyramid or a sort of triangle there. Um, so this, um, uh, so yeah, this is the right play. And it's the right play by a lot. Uh, here you could, you could take one off, but um, you leave, you know, you leave a lot of uh, shots here. Or you have not a lot of shots. You leave a lot of potential rolls with shots. So you have six five, uh, which is really a nightmare here. Uh, if you roll that next, uh, you know, look look at what you have to play with six five. It's you know, here's your six, there's your five. Okay, you leave a double shot. That's as ugly as it gets. Um, so you know that, and that's why this this play is bad. Even though it takes a checker off. Uh, these simulate, you know, you leave a gap. Bad idea. Don't leave a gap. Uh, see, obviously, you know, here you leave a shot. Uh, really bad. Okay. So these, you know, this, uh, 
is not that hard. It's, you know, if you're not sure, uh, you know, make look at what the play looks like. And, um, you know, if it doesn't have the mountain structure, you probably made a mistake. And then go look at the other reasonable plays. And, you know, and the important thing is to remember that this is not good. Okay. All right. Uh, let's look at another one. So, Gary, look, quick question. So, with, with two checkers on the um, one point that they've got, I mean, I assume that for the most part, you're really just playing for the win and not the gamut. Uh, yes, that's true. Now, yeah. Um, with 15% uh, because, chance yeah, that gammon. Yeah, because the, um, yeah, th that's true. Uh, but but uh, it's also true that, you know, if you go, if you, if you get hit, you're, you're going to lose the gamut anyway. Now, the, the, Michi doesn't go over this that much in this chapter, but there are exceptions. So if you're, you know, really gammonish position here like this, uh, and I think we had, what was the original position? You oh, got this two this was, So, you know, this one, now this is very gammonish. Um, you know, this is still the right play. But these are a little bit closer. This is not the best example because these this leaves this leaves a uh, you know the, the nightmare shot at six of six five and yes, but if you do if you do if you have a crunched board or a, or a poor board where okay if you get hit you don't want to get hit but it's not catastrophic if you do get hit uh, yeah. and then often. It's better to play. Now, in this case, this is not the case. But you can see that this was a blunder before. Now it's not so bad. Um, in fact, I think let's let's make it even worse. Wow. So here we're getting where, where the where the taking the checker off becomes the right play. Just because there's yeah. really no uh, the you know you're here you're ninety six percent to win. Uh, you know, even though, you know, compared to the previous play, the previous uh, situation, where if you did this, you're an 89% of the win. So you, you have that trade-off. Um, Michi doesn't go into any specific rules to tell you when, you know, when you're aggressive and when you're not. So you have to kind of have the feel for it. Um, but it's going to be things like, okay, you know, the crash board. If the crash board, the crash board means that getting hit is not the end of the world, and so you, yeah, you lose the game. You're still gonna, not going to lose the game because I got to put these up here because you know he's not going to be able to contain. You. Uh, and so when you've got the crunch board, you can be a little more aggressive. Um, okay, but if you're not sure, I would you know I would stick to the safe play. You still got a pretty good shot here uh, at the gamut. Uh, and if you get hit, you're pretty much done with the gamut. Okay. Huh. Okay, so here's another example. I take four, three off. Okay. I'd play, I'd play safe because you, you, you're certain to get the gammon if you're not hit. Yeah. So, yeah. And here, he, you know, this is the, uh, the, the conundrum with this type of play is uh, here, you know, getting hit is pretty bad because of the, he's got a five prime. And, but he's also got a lot of checkers to, to bring around, not, not only the last two, but all these checkers here. So he may not get around before you get off. So here, um, the right answer is to, to clear. Uh, so, and that's 86% wins, 40% gamuts. This isn't so bad because uh, you still have a lot of wins and uh, uh, not quite as many and a few, few less. Now, if your board were crunched, the black's board were crunched. Okay. Now it's going to be too off. Okay, and crunched, you know, crunched is, is, you know, this is not really crunched, this is a four point board, but for that, it's still too off. Um, let's look at a five point board. I'm not sure what a five point board would do. 
but it may also be taking too off. Yeah, too off. Hmm. Uh, so here, you know, we're not even talking, this isn't a crunch board by any stretch of the imagination. This is just an open spot. So, uh, so yeah, the trade-off is, 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 is kind of tricky. I, he doesn't, Michi did not give any rules to tell you. Um, but, you know, I would say, you know, the, the open, the open spot, even this one open spot is enough to change the, the play. You know, whereas, you know, this one, it, it um, you know, it was safety, safety first. <clears throat> so I would say that, you know, when in doubt, play it safe. Um, uh, but if you got the crunch board, you know, be more aggressive. Okay. So uh, obviously we're gonna take the six off here, but now what's, what's the one? Four, three. Four, three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it, it's, it gives you the best structure, which you can look at here. You've got uh, the, the, not quite the, not quite the pyramid, but sort of the mountain structure. Uh, this play, you know, this many checkers stacked is usually a, a bad sign um, uh, because you've got less flexibility, you have fewer spares. So, uh, you know, look, look for the, the better structure after the play. Okay. Uh, one thing we didn't talk about on bearing in very much, uh, but but it's sort of implicit here is okay. You're you're bearing in, and now you're doing what what uh, Michi calls preparing to clear. Uh, you know, you want to get the idea is to get the right structure, get the mount structure. So what do we do here? I, you know, obviously, I think we're going to go six, uh, ten to four, and then what's the right What's the right one? What's the right ace? Six five. Six five. Yeah. 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 Six five. Get the mountain structure, and then sort of the, the mountain structure and the pyramid. Um, there is, you know, there's a bad roll here. The six five is bad. It'll leave this shot, but but the thing with that is that you know you're going to have this, you know, before you can clear a point, you've got to get it down to two checkers. Pretty much. So you're always going to have the uh, the risk of, uh, of leaving the shot. Uh, you know, anytime you're going to you're ready to clear a point, uh, just because you can roll the number that gets the checker off, and then you can roll the number that won't move because you've got the uh, uh, because you've got the ace point anchor there. Uh, I should I meant to mention I'll, I'll mention again I think I mentioned it last time when you're coming out when you come in off the uh, the, I guess the ace point game, it, your, your chances of leaving a shot at some point are like 90% or something to, something on that order. So uh, you should be ready uh, or be prepared to, you know, to, to leave the shot. There's, there's almost no way around it. Uh, even if you play perfectly, the dice are always going to uh, uh, contrive to uh, give you a nasty roll. So uh, be ready to, you know, a lot of people get frustrated. They think they did something wrong. You can play it absolutely perfectly and still leave a shot. Uh, that's just kind of the way it goes with, with backhammer. And that's why it's, it's, uh, you know, 90% win instead of 98% wins for, for the, uh, the ace point uh, game. Okay. Yeah. What do we do here? Hmm. Well, there's, there's two things you should be thinking about, I think. One is, okay, you can clear the six point. That's yeah. always good. That's the safest thing to do. 
you can take two off. Um, so, you know, here's a question of, of and clearing the six point is going to be the safest one because now you've cleared a point, that's one less point to clear. Uh, but taking two off has got to give you, uh, what you would think would give you more gamins as long as it doesn't uh, jeopardize you too much. So here, uh, the answer is to play it safe. Uh, you get 88% wins, 28% gammons. Two off is 84% uh, wins, so you do drop it 4%, but you're getting more gammons at 31%. Now, as we've seen, um, what would you think in here? Two off. It's mm. it's closer, not quite. Oh, it's closer. Yeah. yeah. If you had, well, let's see if you had here. Now it's clearly two off. Yeah. So one of the things, you know, the thing with, I, and I put these two checkers here. So what's going to happen here is that black gets a six and he's gone. Uh, if you take, if you clear the six point, now black gets a five and he's gone. You know, that's significantly less in your game and chances. Um, uh, and so the fact that, that uh, and, and so that, that's part of it. So you get two checkers off and you're, you're still blocking him. And that gives you uh, certainly more gamma chances in here. I think even the wins are close. Uh, actually, yeah. And actually these are more wins here too because you've blocked a point. Um, when I, now when you have the checkers here, you know, that five or six was not as important because Black still needs to get these other two checkers here, get them around. He also has a slight chance of making a six point. So uh, the safety is, is more important here. That's the better, so that's the better role. Okay, so that's pretty it. That's pretty much it for the basics, the easy stuff. And uh, and this this will cover 90% of your, your or 90, 95% of the, roles that you have or, or move or uh, uh, games that you're trying to finish off with against the ace point game. Uh, next time we'll go over some kind of the special, special situations and uh, do some more practice. Now I did mention, I mentioned before, some of you have been here, so uh, uh, I'll tell you the best way to practice, the best way to do this is not try to memorize some uh, move so much, uh, although there are, there are certain special situations that's worth uh, memorizing, but it's to set, it's just to set up um, uh, a posi various positions like this one, say, and do what's called a play from here. And so all that means is that you, let's do this one, um, is that you're gonna go, you, you know, you set up a, a position like this, you're going to do, do under setup to play from position. And let's make this the computer. Will we play a one? And then we'll roll. So we'll throw three, two like that. And let's, we'll just do one. This will be our last thing here. The computer plays. Roll again. And what's our move here? Um, I'd be inclined to. Oh. Well, there should be two that come to mind. So we could take all four off here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so that's good. It takes four off. What's bad about this? The gap. The gap is bad. Yeah. So these can move the five point. So we can three there and there. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So we've cleared a point. That's good. Uh, what's bad about this? You've got fewer checkers off. You may not. I think you're going to get more gums if you take a ball off. Yeah, probably. Also, you, we didn't cover this today, but one of Michi's uh, more advanced points is. You know, stacking the two-point is not the best idea. Um, it, just, it makes it more difficult later on to, to get these off. So we'll, we'll talk about more about that last time. So let's see if there are any intermediates. Um, 
they really aren't. I mean, if you took two off and that one, now we don't, we leave a shot. So uh, what do we think it is? Four off from the four or three from the six and one off from the four? I'm guessing, but I think it's four off. I think it's four off, okay. I agree. All the right, extra guns. Do that. Hey, four checkers off. I would think uh, the gammons are certainly better here. I, I would have guessed the six, taking from the six and playing it safer. Well, let's do this and we'll find out. Huh. All right. Got lucky. So six to, six to four. We're going to do this. Yeah. Um, uh, five to three. I think. Yeah, I think this. Any? Uh, we got the mountain structure here, at least as best we can. Uh, any other thoughts? Hitting on the ice point. Um, one, two. We could do this. Uh, that's a big gap, but we did get. No, a I, was looking, I was looking at playing five one twice. Uh, oh, I see. But, uh, oh. Yeah, that's an interesting play. You still you have the big gap here, but the black is on the bar, and oh. so uh, you know the worst that can happen is you know you leave a you leave a direct shot here. Um, I play safe. I I think uh, I would play safe here. So let's do that. We'll see. We'll see if it's right or wrong. Okay. Oh. Okay. So. There's no reason to get yeah. shot there. We can't take a circle. Right. Cool. End of that. So that's the end of that, pretty much. Okay, so let's uh, just stop that here so we don't waste time. I no resign a single game. No Gary, can I ask a question, please? Sure. Um, in, in all of the discussion, Tonight, there were two checkers on the one point. Yes. Are there times when you want to abandon the one point and you want to get hit? I mean, how long oh, do you play work? black? Yeah, Wait. in other words, let, let, let's suppose like you, you have a check, black checker on the 17 and, and you roll a six, a six something and you can escape with one of your checkers or leave both of them there and Take your 17 in. Well, aren't there times when you would want, want to abandon one of the one checkers or not? Uh, yeah, certainly, uh, certainly when you're at the point where you're either going to crash your board if you don't, um, or, you, or, you know, it depends on how many uh, white checkers are left. So, you know, if white's getting down to, you know, eight, I think it's eight checkers is where I usually run. Uh, 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 we've got eight checkers left, so that you have two, uh, two um, jokers, two double, uh, double fives, double fours, or whatever, give you give you the potentially a backhand. Uh, so yeah, there's a point, and and you know, we don't, I don't know that Michi discusses that too much, but but yeah, you want to get off, you want to get off the gamut, and you don't want to be in jeopardy of the gamut. So if you're getting down to just a few checkers for the, your opponent, you need to get away. And, and give up on the, uh, the late hit. Um, the other point is when, if you've got to break your board anyway, you might as well run a back checker and it will help you get off the gamut. You do give up a little bit and that your opponent could point on you or do a pick and pass or you know, hit you on the ace point, leaving you like, like in this case, uh, if, if, you know, if white hit here on the ace point, we've got a four, five or six that comes in and ruins, you know, and, and then we lose the game because we, we can't hit anymore. So yeah, so there are certainly are points where you want to run. Uh, and again, you know, I, if you play out this type of game and then go and check and see what XG says, you'll get a sense of when that is. Uh, 
So here, let's uh, let's look at our plays. Three two was was right. We did. Uh, we wanted to come in with the mountain structure that did it. Um, double fours. Okay. Wow. Double fours. Dead heat. dead heat. It was a dead heat. Yeah. So there are good arguments for both. Um, uh, let's see what it's 87 wins and 17 gammons. Four off was 83 wins and 23 gammons. So, okay. Yeah. So, all right. So the, yeah. yeah so the four off, yeah, there are more gammons, but fewer wins uh, versus more wins and fewer gammons. Uh, yeah. Kind of the trade off we had, we'd expected. Um, so, but either, what did we do? We did four off. So, you know, either play wasn't too bad. Uh, five, four, I think that was four. So yeah, there's only four mode that did that. Okay, double twos, not so good. Uh, and I think Ray, you suggested this or looked at it. Hitting oh, off. Yeah. Um, oh. So, yeah, I wouldn't have done that, but uh, it's, let's see what it says. It's 91 wins, 28 gammons. 95 wins, 16 gammons. So in this case, the extra gammons offset the, the uh, extra losses. Um, yeah, those are very hard to tell. And I don't know, that, I don't think Michi covers, you know, how you make a decision like this. Uh, and so, again, what I suggest you do is, you know, let's play enough of these and uh, you'll have a better sense. Um, I've done uh, plenty of these and uh, I wouldn't, I still would have done this play. So that's not, it's not a foolproof way of learning, but it's the only way that, that I know, I know how, I don't know how, to, I don't know how you judge this, um, to, to know whether it's safe or not. Um, just, and, and look at, uh, just to look at our play. Okay. Well, we it wouldn't have bad. Well, okay. Yeah. So, so, you know, black comes with the five and then we, Tried to roll the four one with two checkers here. We would have left a shot. Uh, we wouldn't have gotten hit. But, so anyway, all right. So fill fives, four one. Okay, and there, there was really no option here. Anything else? Just use blunder cells. So, um, you know, that's what uh, you know. That's what I suggest everybody. If you really want to learn this. Uh, you know, just practice it. It doesn't take long. This was, you know, six rolls and it's over. And then, you know, a few minutes of going back and looking at the plays. And uh, uh, if you can do this, you, you, you can play at a pretty high level in these situations. Um, and again, you're not going to get all of them right. I didn't, I, you know, I thought this was wrong, but, um, but it's not wrong by much. Um, so, okay. So let me stop the, uh, well, any, any questions on that before I stop the recording? Nope. All right. You show me again how to play from position. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm looking at that. So set up, uh, set up your position. Okay. And so it's going to be, you do something like this. And, you know, you can look at, uh, you know, whatever, how, wh however complex you want it to be. And then you can look at, you know, crunch boards versus uh, slow boards and, or, or late boards or, wh or whatever. Uh, and then um, you can set the dice to whatever you want to set. Uh, I don't know if you can do randomly, but the key thing here is, is to click on the setup and then play from position which is the first item, okay? And that will get you the box, pop-up box that you, know, you can play, you can play the computer, or if you, want to, if you want to play the back game to see how you do there, that's fine too. You'll play both sides of the board. Um, uh, and, then, and then, okay, and then you start. Uh, and then you just play it out. Uh, Actually, we'll, we'll record and then you can do the analysis uh, afterwards, or it will give you the analysis afterwards. Okay, let me stop the recording. <laughs>